We all need at least one or two self-defense skills to help us in this dangerous world. But even after gaining the skills, you need to exercise caution because martial arts can turn you into a killing machine. From an ancient Chinese fighting style to a native Thai martial art that can break your jaw with a simple twist, here are the 10 most effective martial arts in the world. Number 10. Kung Fu there is no doubt that Kung Fu has gained popularity across the world thanks to its conversion into the film genre of cinema. It's easy to confuse Kung Fu with other types of martial arts, but Kung Fu basically is a broad term for Chinese martial arts, such as Wushu and Quan Fa. Originally from China, Kung Fu describes any activity, study or learning which requires a lot of energy, patience and time to master. One man who's forever credited with the popularization of the Kung Fu film genre is Bruce Lee. He played a pivotal role in the westernization of Chinese martial arts in the 1970s. His dedication to the genre made him an international celebrity, as he would occasionally promote Chinese martial arts in the United States. But besides Bruce Lee, there are other prominent martial artists like Jet Li and Jackie Chan who also contributed immensely to the popularization of the genre. For instance, Jackie Chan in particular is responsible for the sensationalization of the genre. He took a different approach from Lee by introducing humor into his fighting technique in the films he acted in. He was a master of the game, and probably that would explain to you why no one can beat a Kung Fu master. Number 9. Karate The Japanese, like the Chinese, also have their own martial art, and karate is one of their favorite native martial arts. Karate is a striking art that involves punching, kicking, knee kicks, elbow strikes, as well as open hand techniques. Even though the Japanese were influenced by Chinese martial arts, and in particular Fujian White, they perfected the game and came up with karate, which was developed in the Ryukyu Kingdom. Ideally, the Ryukyu Kingdom was originally a tributary state of Imperial China, before it was captured by Japan's empire in 1879. The early 20th century marked the period when karate officially entered Japan. With time, the adoption of a white uniform and colored belt led to the modernization and systemization of karate in Japan. Higeona Kanryo is remembered for having played a key role in the popularization of karate, besides popular literature. This is after his martial art judo was included in the 1964 Tokyo Olympics, leading to growing mainstream Western interest in Japanese martial arts and in particular karate. Number 8. Combat Sambo Sambo is a Soviet-origin martial art form from Russia, and it's considered a widely practiced combat sport, recognized as a type of amateur wrestling. Sambo was included in the World Wrestling Championship by United World Wrestling, along with Greco-Roman wrestling and freestyle wrestling. It's a Roman acronym that translates to self-defense without weapons. Sambo is a relatively new system considering that it was developed in the 1920s by the Interior Ministry of the Soviet Union, NKVD, and the Red Army to help improve the servicemen's hand-to-hand -hand combat ability. Ideally, Sambo brings together the most efficient techniques from several combat systems. Notable names that led to the birth of Sambo include Oshepkov, Spiridinov, and Anatoly Kalampiev all of whom traveled the world to study the native fighting arts of the world before coming back to the NKVD center to develop Sambo. However, Anatoly Karlampiev took the title of the father of Sambo, since he's the one who single-handedly pushed for the acceptance of Sambo as the official combat of the Soviet Union in 1938. After being recognized by the World Wrestling Championship in 1973, the first US National Sambo Championship was held in Mesa, Arizona in 1975. Number 7. Taekwondo Korea is also not left behind when it comes to martial arts, and Taekwondo is their native form of martial art. Taekwondo is characterized by punching and kicking techniques with an emphasis on head height kicks, spinning jump kicks, as well as fast kicking techniques. The name Taekwondo literally translates to kicking, punching, and the art or the way of. The most important thing about Taekwondo is that its training fosters strength of the mind through mental armament. You'll realize that Taekwondo practitioners wear special uniforms called Dobok. Taekwondo is similarly not that old, considering that it was developed in the 1940s and 1950s by Korean martial artists with vast experience in karate, Chinese martial art, and indigenous Korean martial arts traditions. However, the name Taekwondo had not been formulated by that time, although the training was already ongoing in Kwan's or martial arts schools. Taekwondo has become an international sensation since it started featuring in the Olympics in 2000. Number 6. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is a form of martial art combat sport that involves ground fighting and submission holds. It emphasizes taking the opponent to the ground and dominating them to acquire a strong position, along with using several techniques such as joint locks or choke holds to force them into submission. 
Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu was first created by five Brazilian brothers, led by Carlos Gracie. Carlos was introduced to traditional Kodaokan Judo in 1917 by a traveling Japanese judoka, Mitsuyo Maida. After training for some years, the five brothers invented Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, or BJJ, in around 1920, which was adapted from a combination of their own self-defense method called Gracie Jiu-Jitsu and Judo. BJJ would then become a distinct combat sport, contributing hugely to the modern MMA. Basically, BJJ equips trainees with skills that can enable even a smaller, weaker individual to defend themselves against a bigger, stronger, and heavier opponent through the use of leverage and weight distribution to bring the fight to the ground and force the opponent into submission through various holds. Number 5. Okichito Okichito is a form of martial art that integrates the fighting tactics of the Plains Cree First Nations. Canadian martial artist George Lepine is credited for having developed and taught this form of martial art. Lepine started learning traditional wrestling, tomahawk throwing, and hand-to-hand -hand combat tactics when he was just a child. This, coupled with other training in martial arts such as judo, taekwondo, and hapkido, enabled him to invent Okichito in 1997. Okichito also involves weapons training during the early stages of student training because of the influence of the weapons and the hand-to-hand -hand techniques. These weapons include a gunstock war club as well as a long knife. Number 4. Dambe Africans too didn't lack their own traditional defense techniques, and Nigeria has just shown the world how they defended themselves. Dambe is a Nigerian martial technique that was used by the Hausa people. In this type of martial art, competitors seek to subdue each other into total submission within three rounds, resulting in major bodily injuries such as broken jaws and ribs. Dambe evolved from clans of Hausa fishermen and butcher caste groups, who used to travel to farm villages during harvest season and incorporate a combat challenge by foreigners into local harvest festival entertainment. This practice was used as a signal for men to prepare for war. Dambe has received a lot of popularity in Nigeria thanks to companies of boxers who occasionally travel across traditional Hausa homesteads conducting outdoor contests accompanied by ceremony and drumming. Number 3. Marine Corps Martial Art Program to help the Marines perfect hand-to-hand -hand and close-quarters combat, the United States Marine Corps developed the Marine Corps Martial Art Program MCMAP. This fighting technique was introduced in 2001 and it helps to instill morale and team-building ethos among the warriors. It also emphasizes mental and character development, like the use of force responsibly, leadership, as well as collaboration. This type of martial art developed from the martial talents of Marine boarding parties who majorly relied on bayonet and cutlass fighting techniques. During World War I, these bayonet techniques were supplemented by unarmed fighting techniques, which were very useful in trench warfare. Number 2. Ninjutsu Ninjutsu is a martial arts strategy and tactic that's employed by ninjas, and it involves unconventional warfare, guerrilla warfare, or espionage spies. Basically, ninjutsu was developed as a compilation of basic survivalist tactics to help protect the lives of ninjas. This fighting technique has been used in Japan since the 6th century, and at one point was part of the syllabus taught in Japanese schools. However, ninjutsu's first usage in public during the military campaign was in the late 12th century at the onset of the Genpei War. Number 1. Thai Boxing Popularly known as Muay Thai, Thai boxing is a type of martial art and combat sport that employs stand-up striking as well as various clenching techniques. Now, the discipline of Thai boxing is nicknamed the Art of Eight Limbs because it simultaneously uses fists, elbows, knees, and shins during combat. It developed from the traditional Muay Baran. Muay Thai was originally started in the 16th century as a peacetime martial art that was practiced by soldiers of King Naresuan. However, it wasn't until the late 20th century and early 21st century that Muay Thai gained popularity and spread to the West. Muay Thai was first included in the International World Games Association and was among the games presented during the World Games 2017 in Wrocław, Poland. Thanks for watching.